So the Harley Davidson Screaming Eagle air cleaner can be washed. It's a performance air cleaner, so it doesn't have, it's not a paper air cleaner, so you can wash it. You just need the correct cleaning agent and lubricant to do it. So I'm going to take you through how to get it out, wash it and put it back in. Alright, well, let's get started. So well, you've got normally you've got this cover and behind it is a bolt. So the way it, it doesn't glue on or anything, it's like a a very hard a very hard I don't know what to call it. Like Velcro on the one side and on the other side and then it just has a spline socket in the center. So I'm gonna take that off. Just and your spine allen keys. So you get the right size spine only to the clip there. Slightly on it and then remove the cover. Remove the cover, and then you've got three other bolts to remove on it as well in the center. It's just there to, to hold the quilt in place. So I normally use a, a shifting or you can use a, a spanner to do it as well. I think a spanner might be the correct way to do it. Go for it. The shifting was just an arm reach. Some people say that the engine is the heart of the motorcycle, but it doesn't make sense if you say that. If anything, the engine is like the, I don't know, like the body, more the body of the motorcycle, because for me, the heart of the motorcycle or the engine is the oil pump and the filter will be like the lungs so it's two of the most important things on the bike and then the filter comes out like that but as you can see here at the bottom I've got a lot of oil so the reason for that is these two freaking pipes. So what Harley Davidson decided, or what they had to do according to regulations, is the oil that comes from your heads, the, the, the vapor, comes out through these two pipes and it goes back into your engine. So it's like reburning oil. So I've watched a couple of videos where they actually put in a like an oil trap. So I'm gonna be doing that not today, but I'm definitely gonna be making something to trap the oil because 
when you've got this set up where you're actually putting the oil back in the engine you have a carbon build up on your valves and on your piston and that's not good that will make your motor not last as long as it's supposed to be I don't think the motor was originally designed to run on oil I don't know, my, my motor was designed to run on on fuel, not oil so you know, I'll definitely be making something to to get that sorted out so I don't have to run it anymore like this because also what happens is the overspill becomes so much after a while like all the oil is dripping down at the bottom of the filter comes here on the crankcase at the bottom and like runs down and then you also get like oil laying on your floor something I don't like I, I don't like oil leaks so on the previous video I I showed you guys a trick on the drain plugs to prevent any oil leaks coming from your drain plug and let me show you quickly as you can see there's no oil leaks at the bottom of this bike nothing whatsoever go down to where the drain plug was or oh, is there's the one you can see it's like completely, completely dry. So, there's no oil leaks. So that definitely works. Okay, so I'm just gonna get the cleaning agent quickly. And I'm gonna show you how I do that. So basically, it's a, it's a two part. So you first get the cleaning one and then you're going to spray it with the oil. So it's, it's not really expensive, it's quite cheap, it plus it lasts really, really long. Um, I think I've cleaned my filter two, three times with it already. So it does seem to last quite long, I can. So it's actually quite worth it. Now all you do is clear a couple of big shapes, get your filter, and what you're going to want to do is, you're going to want to spray it from the inside out, not from the outside in, because we want to force anything that is possibly there, any contaminants that is on the filter surface on the outside, we want to force it outwards, not inwards, because it might get trapped inside of the the curves where the filter is folded so the best way to prevent that from happening is spraying from the inside outwards it does stink a bit so just do it in a well ventilated area so what you want to do is you want to soak the filter completely in the cleaning agent and just let it like soak for a couple of minutes and then we're going to be washing it all with water I always like to spray a little bit of this on the rubber and everything so it can clean some of everything nicely Actually it works like a nice degrees so <laughs> Alright, so after you let your filter soak for a bit I'm gonna go to a tap and under normal pressure you don't need high pressure or anything you're gonna let it run from the inside out until it gives you no more dirty water coming out at the bottom then you know it's completely washed 
So you're just going to rinse this until the water becomes steam that comes out of the bottom. And also again, you rinse it from the inside outwards. So once that is clean, then we're going to let it dry for a bit. certain you get out all of that cleaning agent that you just sprayed into the filter because it might hinder when you spray the oil on it so that looks like it's nice and clean now I normally do this with warm water I don't know it just feels like it helps Might as well make it fun while we're waiting. So I can either do that, I suppose. You have to get the excess water or do the ink it off. I don't know, I call it the ink it off. No. And then you can also do the windmill. I don't know. Let me know which way you used to to help the drying process on this. Okay, so I got the filter, it was sitting lucky in the sun. As you can see, you can sort of see through it. It's nice and clean. So now all we're going to do is we're going to be spraying this now with the oil. And then we're going to put it back on the bike. So I went looking for a catch can for for this so I couldn't find one but I'm gonna come up with another solution of maybe using a small header tank of a white bike that they they use for their brakes so and then I'm just gonna make drill a hole through here I'm gonna take this into a T-piece I'm gonna extend this one take it into a T-piece this side put a grommet in it so there's no air coming in then it's going to come out with a pipe and then I'll be mounting that small header tank uh, I don't know exactly where yet but yeah first I have to wait for the tank to see where 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 I'm going to put it so let me let's do this filter first now you're going to take your spray on air well after your filter is dried and you're going to be coating this I would say slightly you don't want to put too much oil on it but you do want it to soak in so you can always spray again but you can't take off once there is too much on so I will say it's better to to spray twice rather than spraying once and it's like fully okay so let's just do a good cut you want to make certain it goes nicely into the into the grooves what I like about this well it's like this blue color so it's easy to see where you missed. So now you're just gonna let that soak in a bit. And then once that is soaked in properly, you can check if you missed somewhere, maybe you missed, I don't know, it does happen. And then you can just spray it again if you miss in some spots. 
So just let it stand for a while and then after I would say like two minutes, three minutes, you just check and then you spray it again if you need to. If you don't need to, you you can go directly then to installing it. Okay, so I seem to have covered it everywhere. So I think I need to learn a little bit. So then all you do is just wipe off the excess that you oversprayed off the rubber. Because it won't be pulling into the rubber, so it will always stay there. You don't want dirt to collect on the oily surface there of the rubbers itself. wipe off the excess then we can start putting this back in so I like to cover it with a piece of cloth when, when, when there's no filter on it. it it just feels I don't know like the right thing to do at that, that moment so also remember there's a lot of vibration taking place in this area. So because your whole motor is shaking. So what I normally do is I use a slight lock. It's not I knew I had some somewhere. This is just a six grade, grade six um not tight so it's not very strong but it will be sufficient for stopping vibrations yeah so you just got to give this a small dab you really really don't need a lot of it shakes loose on it I think so you must put certain things you have to put lock tight on it to prevent it from rattling loose Ollie must actually make design like a big magnet that you can put at the back of the bike so everything that falls off can be picked up by the magnet so at the end of the day you don't have to go and buy new parts you just go pick it off the magnet at the back I'm just going to use the shifting again, some off-reach. So you just want to compress the rubber a little bit, you don't want to compress it too much. Because that will cause the rubber after, after a while to, to like perish because of the compression, if you compress it too much. So you just want it tight. Just tight is sufficient. I will be making a video as soon as the catch slash leader tank thingy comes that I ordered for now to put the excess leader part on the heads into that so your motor doesn't burn it but I have to I'm going to be riding tomorrow so I do need the filter to be on today So I'll just remove it again when I get that stuff to, to modify it and then I'll put my washer and cleaner again. Okay, so just a little bit tight, you don't want it completely tight. Okay, so now another good thing, just wipe off your cover on the inside. 
to get any oil or anything like that off from it. There is any, and there is a lot full of red headers. Here the beaver pipes. A nice wipe down on the inside. Then also put a little bit of lock up, not a lot, in the main bolt that hooks the cover. Not fun stopping on the side of the road because of a loose cover or something that's been loose from you. I don't enjoy it. I don't mind it, but I don't enjoy it when that happens. Smoke tight. Good job. Take off that hand marks. Be washing the bike once I finish the service, so it's not too bad a problem. And then you just take this thing, color plate thing. And you just place that and it bites sturdy on her again. And that's basically it. That's how you wash your photo. Thanks for watching.